All right, I didn't want to make this video until I kind of figured out. Um, last Saturday, I was going to go up north to the land like I do a lot. <clears throat> uh, it's like zero degrees out. Start the grizz up in the morning. Take it up north. Get up north, I start it. Let it idle for five minutes as I put my bibs on. Cold weather clothes. And all of a sudden, my, my, my throttle's stuck. Like it, it doesn't, doesn't move. So I forced it just a little bit more and all of a sudden it, it cracked real loud, broke loose and then went one floppy. And all of a sudden the Grizz backfired two or three times and a couple of loud bangs and then shut off. And I was like, what the heck? Didn't even get it off the trailer. I was like, what did I just break? I thought it felt like a throttle cable. So I decided to try starting it again. Did the same thing, started it up, bang, bang, crack, shut off. So I'm like, well, I ratchet strapped it back down. I uh, left it on the trailer. Got home later that afternoon. Uh, pushed it off the trailer, pushed it in that spot right here. And uh, turned the key on. And right here, there was a number 15. So I'm like, oh, throwing a code 15 and the check engine light was on without even starting the engine. I was like, well, I didn't notice that up north. So I shut the key back off, I Google code 15. Code 15 is a throttle positioning sensor. So I was like, well, okay. And remind you that I've got the garage heated up, you know, by this time and everything's thawed out in here. I kind of have a kerosene heater right here and it warms the whole engine bay up. So I went down here, let me get a light, let me get a light here. You probably can see the new throttle positioning sensor, but this hole's right here. It's like a little drain hose where well, I got that you know, snorkeled up. You can see the holes. So I got snorkeled up. Well, I pulled that hose off, all kinds of water come out. I'm like, well, that ain't good. So then I went into diagnostic mode, which, you know, you hold these two buttons down, turn your key on, keep holding them until it goes to diag one. Release, push the two buttons back down again for about three more seconds. And then this little number comes up over here in the corner. And it's supposed to be, you know, 15 to 20 um, with idle fully off or throttle fully off. And it's supposed to be like 95 to 105 or 90 to 100, depending on what form you read. People talk about, you know, different stuff or whatever. Well, it was reading 56 with the throttle just off. So I'm like, okay, well, that ain't right. You push it down a little bit. It went to zero. You push it a little bit further. It went to like 50. And you push it all the way in. It went back to zero. So I'm like, well, it's got to be a throttle positioning sensor. So I ordered a new sensor, you know, $80, stuck it in there. I kind of put it at, you can clock this. So there's these, these holes here are slotted. I basically just picked it right in the middle and then snugged these up just a little bit, but still loose enough where you could adjust it with your, with your hand. So I turned the key on, went back to diagnostic mode at idle or no throttle. It was at 18, which is perfect. I kind of want it at a 17 or 18 because I don't want it stalling when I'm, you know, balls deep in water. And then at full throttle, it was at 101. Once in a while, I go to 102. Freaking mint. Tighten the screws up, turn the key on, push the starter button, purrs like a kitten. So, so if anyone ever has that problem, what happened, I think, was there was water in here. And between leaving the garage and heading up north, it froze. Froze this little slot mechanism which is right here, here's the old one. Water got in here, froze that just solid. So I couldn't turn it. And this thing, it is really wobbly and there's zero resistance when, it, when you turn this. That new one, it didn't wobble at all like this. And there was some resistance when you turned. Like, you know, something's dragging in here as, the, as, the, as you push the throttle, this turns with it. So out of all of them, scenarios are all them factors that's how i diagnosed it and i think the code 15 on the dash probably you know put it away all right but or gave it away but so right now we're going to idle full full tank of gas Oop, that usually don't happen there it is usually don't start like that that was a little weird Lately, but I don't know six, seven years of beating on. 